Good, good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon, everyone. So today we are going to discuss the syllabus that we have completed till now and the chapters that is remaining. Okay, right? Then we will plan accordingly. So first is maths, right? When we talk about maths, right? Just let me know. We have completed this number system, polynomials, denegation to variable, quadratic. AP is completed. Tell me yes or no. AP is completed. Just let me know. AP is completed. No? Okay. So this is remaining. Triangles. Remaining. Coordinate geometry. I guess coordinate geometry, whatever we have studied. Right? Whatever we have studied. Uh, okay. Coordinate geometry, I'll complete. Okay. Coordinate geometry, I'll complete. Trigonometry, we have completed. Height and distance. It's same as trigonometry, I hope. Height and distance, uh, obviously, it is not completed. Uh, in Avanti, it will be completed, right? So I'm expecting that these chapters will be completed before your NTSC, okay? These chapters will be completed before your NTSC, okay? Right? These chapters will be completed. Now it is not completed, but will, it will be completed. Okay, now surface area and volume, right? So this is one chapter which might not be completed before NTSC, okay? And uh, we will see, right? We will depend. It will depend on what is the speed. Okay, how much we can complete in your normal classes. Then probability. Probability, I guess, it's same as what we have studied in junior classes. Okay, right? In school, everything is completed. Okay, then to no issues. Okay, then no issues. So we will try to complete probability. Okay, we will complete probability. So I guess more or less, uh, more or less, everything uh, will be completed, okay? Right, so I'll just send you this. I'll just send you this PDF, okay? It will consist of all the questions, right? This consists of all the questions, only questions, that's it. So I guess maths, we will be able to complete everything before your NTSC, okay? Most of the portion have already been completed. Now, when we talk about math, right? Let's see, math. Now in math, uh, Venn diagram we will complete today, okay? We have already studied the basics of Venn diagram, right? And problems, we'll do it today. Now, apart from Venn diagram, right? The topic that I've told that it is important and you have to know, right? So obviously, uh, most of the topics is logical based. Okay, right? Most of the log is logical based. There's nothing much to teach, but there are some tricks, uh, tricks in this time and clock, blood relationship. Okay, right? And uh, when diagram we have studied, then everything is your logical reasoning. Everything is logical reasoning. You have to practice. Yes, that's what I said, right? Blood relationship, Venn diagram, time and clock. Okay. These three, we have to uh, like know what is the tricks and all those things, how to proceed and all those things. But other than that, okay, chapter 25 is statesmen and conclusions. See, this is totally based on your uh, like understanding skill, okay? Nothing can be taught in this one. Statements and conclusion. It's like assertion and reason. Okay. You have to practice lots of problems and you have to get the idea that the statement is correct or not and all those things. Okay. Right. So most of the other chapters you have to practice. Okay. So today we will just complete Venn diagram. Okay. Then in next class, in this week itself, we will see Kushagara, we will see one by one. Okay, one day we will see everything. So first we will complete Venn diagram today, right? Then uh, we will complete times and time and clock and blood relationship in next class. Okay, right? Okay. Wait. 
I hope everyone remember the concept of Venn diagram that we have studied in last class. Tell me, yes or no? Yes. Okay, very good, everyone. Okay, so see, right? So this is the chapter of Venn diagram, right? We have studied what is a Venn diagram. Venn diagram is a geometrical or basically it's a graphical representation of sets, right everyone? Okay, now in that we have studied what is union of set, intersection of set, right? Subset, superset, subtraction of set, right? Now how we can use those concepts, okay, in problems, okay? So see, now we will just solve problems in this chapter for today, okay? Now just see this, right? See this, we have two circle, right? Okay, two circle, okay? Now, in this case, I can say that circle two is subset of circle one, right? Circle two is a subset of circle one, okay? For example, if I'm saying stationary, is your circle one outer circle? Let it be circle A and circle B. So if A is stationary, circle A is stationary, then circle B can be pencil, right? If circle A is vegetable, then circle B is brinjal, right? Because brinjal is a subset of vegetable. In the same way, if I'm saying furniture, right? So chair, chair is a subset of furniture, right? So these things is very easy. We have already studied these things, okay? Right? Now, when we talk about union, it means, union means, addition right okay union means addition right so can we directly go to problems tell me can we directly go to problems tell me everyone right yes very good so let's see okay let's see we will just solve problems because we have already studied the theory part in last class now see, right, we have four diagram over here, four diagram over here, right, I'll just ask a question. So this is set A, set B, and set C. Now, can I say that set A intersection with set B is equal to five, yes or no? Tell me, yes or no? Yes? Okay, set A union with set C is equal to what? Set A union with set C is equal to what? It, it's just set C only, na? Set C only. It is set C only. Right? Because A union with C. Now A is a subset of C. So obviously union will give C only. Right? I hope you remember A union, right? U is equal to U only. Right, everyone? We have studied this concept now, last class. Right? Got it? Okay. Okay. So in this case, A, B, C, all of them are disjoint set. All of them are just disjoint set. Right? Right? See, you have to know, you have to understand the meaning of this Venn diagram. So A, B, and C, right? In this case, A intersection B is this area. B intersection of C is this area. Right? Got it? Okay. So you have to know how to read the Venn diagram. Okay. Now, just see this. So this is, this is the problem, right? These are four type of Venn diagram which can be possible, right? These are four type of Venn diagram which can be possible. So question one is, Moon Earth Universe. Moon Earth Universe is represented by which type of Venn diagram? One, two, three, four. Tell me. Moon Earth. Yes, very good. Very good, everyone. Right? 
moon, earth, and universe is represented by first one. Very good, everyone. Right? See, now you are getting okay. Very good, everyone. Now, second one is India, Pakistan, Asia. India, Pakistan, Asia. Right? Yes, one. Very good. Batsman, cricket, stick. Batsman, cricket, stick. Yes, yes, very good, very good, it's four, very good. See, now you're getting right, now it's easy, now. Book, pen, pencil. Book, pen, pencil. Three, very good. Then, in a class of 46 students, right, this is the next question, right? In a class of 46 students, 18 played football. Okay, everyone just pay attention. Okay, in a class of 46 students, 18 play football. Okay, wait. Huh. 17 played cricket. Everyone, please write down. Please write down and try to solve this. Okay, right. 18 play football. 17 play cricket, including six who play football. 16 students play hockey, including four who play cricket, right, but not football. Five students play carom, but no outdoor games. Which of the following figure represents these facts, right? So see, you have to check how many sets do we have, right? How many sets do we have? So this is diagram one. Okay, please look at the diagram. We have four elements here, four sets, right? Set of students who play football, set of students who play cricket, set of students who play hockey, set of students who play carom. Right? Right, everyone? So, you can say that total number of students and total is equal to 46, right? So, I'll try to show you the options, okay? But, okay, I can't show you option without, you will see the answer anyways. Okay, anyways, let's see. So this was the first diagram, then second diagram, third diagram, fourth diagram, okay? What do you think? Think about it. First diagram was before one, right? Write down these four diagrams, okay? First of all, write down these four, th these three diagrams. Everyone, please draw these three diagrams in your notebook. Okay, solution is given three. <laughs> it's written over here, three. Okay, right, but you have to think, okay? Right, you have to think why why this three? See, right? If you see if you see the data, right? Yeah, you have to make see that number of students who play football. Wait, what happened? Number of students who play football was twelve, right? Including six who play cricket, right? And number of students who play hockey was 12, including seven who play cricket, okay, right? And carom, now those who play carom do not play any outdoor game. So this is a disjoint set, right everyone? Okay, yes, carom is excluded. Got it everyone? I hope all of you are getting now the concept of Venn diagram and sets, right? Because if you know this, then it will be very easy. Okay, Avanti may AP. Okay, okay, very good then. Then we can do series, sequence and series also. Have you studied sequence series? Tell me. Like, I don't think that we have studied this year, right? We have studied in class 9th itself. Okay, next one. Tell me. Next one. Try solving question number 6. Six. Okay. So 
let's see let's see what's the answer now see this right see this this is three sets okay three sets and all the three sets intersect with each other right so i can say that i can say that in this one okay ratio of these who know all the three languages to those who do not know sanskrit right first of all how many people do not know sanskrit right so this is sanskrit 170 people do not know sanskrit so 170 people know sanskrit and 220 220 plus 200 520 right okay plus 120 Right. 420 plus 120. 520 do not know Sanskrit. 540, sorry. Do not know Sanskrit, right? 540 students do not know Sanskrit because 220 Hindi, 200 English, and 120 both. Okay? Now, how many students know all the languages, which is 100? So 100 by 140, right? Sorry, 540, 100 by 540. So that should be 4. Got it? Yes? Yes, very good. Easy. Let's see the answer. The answer is four. Yes, very good. Okay, next one. Tell me, which area is cultivated by all the four commodities? So, this is a problem, right? So, 7 to 11 is based on this graph, okay? Right, everyone? So try solving question number seven. Please try solving by yourself, okay, instead of uh, looking at the answer. Very good, Anya. Very good, Snake, though. Very good, everyone. Yes, correct. The answer is yes. The answer is one. Okay. Very good, everyone. Seven. Okay. Now, question number eight. Yeah, first seven, correct. Second one, question number eight. Thank you everyone, thank. Okay, four is not in the diagram, wait, wait. Yes, four is not in the diagram, let's see. See, fourth diagram is this one, right? Okay, actually the answer would be four, but four is not there, okay, right? It's not there, right? So we can just skip this question. Okay, everyone, next question nine. Cultivated by rice only. I, ho I hope all of you got this type of question, right? Because we just have to see the type of questions, okay? Right, we don't have to solve each and every question, we'll just see the type of question. Okay, so this type of question you can solve, right? Now, 12 to 14, see this, 12 to 14. So the question is same as the first one. I hope all of you can solve this type of problem also, right? Three substance, three 
elements will be given, three sets will be given, and you're asked to find that what is a Venn diagram, right? I hope everyone can do this kind of problem. Right, everyone? Okay, very good. Right? We'll just see the type of problems. Okay. Now, this is another type of problem. Wait, I'll just reduce. Okay, can you see it now, everyone? Is it too small or can you see it? Okay, so see this, right? So we have three sets, three sets, right? Okay, right? Indian politician scientist, Indian politician scientist. Okay, now, Read the problem, right? Everyone read the problem. Okay, now we have diagrams, right? First one, Indian. So this is a set of Indian, this is a set of scientists, this is a set of politician. This is a second type of problems. Okay. Yes. So first is Indian who are politician, but not scientist. Indian who are politician, but not scientist. So answer is B. Very good, everyone. B. Second one. Second one, tell me. Yes. Scientist who are Indian, but not politician. D. Very good. D. Very good, Abhilash, Ananya, Shreya, very good, Navya, Sanjana, very good. What about third one? Non-Indian scientists who are politician. Very good, everyone, F, F, right? So I hope everyone, everyone understood how to read Venn diagram. It's easy, it's super easy, tell me, right? So this type of problems also you can solve, okay. Very good, right? So we have discussed this. Now, this, this is the same, right? This is the same, okay? You just have to see what the intersection and what area is represented by which set, okay? So this is also the same, right everyone? Let's, I hope all of you understood. Let's directly solve the exercise now. Okay, let's directly solve the exercise now. If anyone don't have MDSC textbook, let me know. I'll just message you. Or oh, sorry, I'll just send you this textbook. This is Disha. Okay. Now question one, quickly everyone. Question one, tell me what's the answer? Quickly, very good. Right? Everyone, be ready. Tennis fan, cricket players, and student. So everyone is saying lots of answers. So see, tennis fan, cricket players, and students, right? So it can be a student can be tennis player, a student can be cricket player or tennis fan, right? So obviously this kind of questions is tricky. So you have to opt for the best, best option, right? Okay. Now we know that, we know that 
cricket players, right? Cricket players. So when we talk about cricket players, it is professional cricket player, right? Just professional cricket player. Can professional cricket player be a student? Tell me yes or no. Professional cricket player, no, right? So this is set A, set B, set C. So B and C, right? B and C, right? Cannot intersect, right? So B, C. Now, tennis fan. Obviously, a student can also be a tennis fan as well as a cricketer can also be a tennis fan. So this can be A. So the best answer is 2. Got it, everyone? The best answer is 2. Yes? Got it? Right? You have to opt for the best answer. Right? Okay. Next one. Question number 2. Tell me. Smokers, BD smokers, cancer patient. Yes, very good, everyone. Very good. So the answer is two, right? Answer is two. Okay. Now, why two? Because obviously all cancer patients may or may not be, is it true to say that all cancer patients would be smoker? No, right? It's not true now, right? But all B smokers are smokers. Yes, so answer is two. Right, everyone? Are you getting this? Okay. Yes, very good. Now, I guess all of you are well acquainted with uh, question, these kind of questions. So third, tell me, third. Just go through the instruction and let me know. Playing from desktop KCGQ 79U. Okay, very good. So married person living in joint family, but not working as a teacher. Okay, right? Very good. So third, three. Very good, everyone. Right? So D. Okay, next, fourth one. Yes, fourth one also. Very good, right? Okay, next. So five, six, seven, you can solve right now, depending on this. Okay. Okay, now solve question number eight. See, eight, many students have many answers, right? right? Let's, let's think once again, right? Let's think once again, eight, one. Now, many students are saying one, many students are saying three. Now, in a dinner party, both fish and meat were served, right? So it is fish, set B is meat. Some took only fish and some took only meat. There were some vegetarians also. Okay, we have vegetarian also. 
who did not accept either right the rest accepted both fish and meat which of the following logical diagram correctly reflects the statement so this bigger circle is a universal set right okay now fish and meat there's intersection yes exactly right because meat and fish right are not subset or superset of each other that's the first thing okay so there's intersection right now there were some vegetarians who did not accept either there were some vegetarians who did not accept either right so the other vegetarians who did not accept either right but obviously they are in the dinner party now right Wait, wait. Let me think on this line. The rest accepted both meat and fish. Yeah, the answer would be one only. Okay, the answer would be one only. Right? Okay, because the bigger circle represents the people who come into party. Okay, so there's uh, no reason for uh, the first one. Yeah, there's no reason for this vegetarian circle to be outside, right? Okay, because vegetarian people came into party now, right? Okay, next one. So I guess this kind of question you can do, 9 to 12 question you can do. We have seen this kind of question also. Right? So 9 to 12, I guess you can do. Right? Okay. Now, yes, 13 to 14. Now, think about it. 13 to 14, read the instructions. Okay. So now see this statement one. Some eyes are ring, no ring is paint, some ring are gold. Okay. Now in this case, each question below gives statement following by four conclusion. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Right? You have to take the statement true if they Okay, let's see. Now some eyes are ring, okay? Some eyes are ring. No ring is paint. Some ring are gold. So we have to take it as a true. It is said that you have to take statement to be true, even though it's not logically true. No gold is paint. No gold is paint. Follows yes or no? Tell me. Right? Because no ring is paint, right? And some ring are gold. So obviously, no gold is paint. True? So yeah. No ice is gold. No ice is good. This is wrong. Right? No ice is good is wrong. Some rings are paint. This is also wrong. Right? All gold are rings. Wait.
this is wrong. So first, because there's no option then, right? All gold are rings because some rings are gold and here all gold are ring, right? It's not true, na? Okay, this is also true, false. See this, because some rings are gold, some rings are gold, right? Okay, okay, some, only some rings are gold. And it's that no ring is paint, right? Now it is not said that all the gold are ring. Yes or no, is it, it, it is not said all gold is ring, right? Right everyone, tell me. Is it, is it convey that all gold is ring? No, right? Okay, so we cannot say that no gold is pink, should be true. Okay, so answer is none of these. Next. Question of 14. Let's see question of 14. One more question like this. Okay, right, let's see. So in this, some cups are slate. Cups, slate. All slates are apple. Apple. No apple is car. Okay. No apple is car. Car. Right? So this can be this like this also. Like this also. Right? So some cars are slate. Some slate cars are slate. So this is wrong. Some cups are car. This may be true. Maybe. Right? Some apples are cups. Yes, this also may be true. No card is cup. It cannot say that, right? So we can have this. If this either C card can be intersection with C or it can be adjoint with C, right? So if we say that two is true, if two is true, right? A three is always true, three is always true, three is always true. And two or four, it depends, right? Two or four is not 100% true all the time, right? But three is always true. So I can say that three is true always, okay? But either two or four follow. So correct answer should be four. Okay, everyone, right? Correct answer should be four. Okay, because three is always true and either two or four can, can be true because either it can intersect or it can be disjoint. Okay, so this type of question is quite uh, tricky. Next. Next one. 15 
Now it is easy, I guess. It is same as the first diagram, right? You just have to see that which of this set will in represent which of the Venn diagram, okay? And this is also easy. So X size one, we have seen all the type of X size, uh, all the type of questions, right? Now in X size two, the first type we have already seen. So I'll just skip the type that we have already seen, okay? Now this one. This one also we have studied. Yes, everyone tell me, yes. Okay, okay everyone. So now you have seen that which type of, which type of questions will be asked in Venn diagram. Okay, right, so Venn diagram is easy. Tell me yes or no. Right, so let's have a quiz, wait, I'll just see if we have a quiz or not. Okay, sorry. So, yeah, in time and work, right? In time and clock, we have two type of questions. First, related to time or, okay, it is time and clock, not calendar, sorry, my bad. So in time and clock, it is very easy, right? First type of question that will be asked is, when you talk about clock, is the angle between clock hand and our hand that we have already done, yes or no, right? We have discussed some, Question based on that, okay. Now in that you have to know what, first you have to know how much angle the minute hand make, minute hand make, right, in one minute. Okay, these are the shortcuts that you should remember. Same, our hand, right, in one minute as well as one hour, okay, right. So you have to remember these kind of information, then your question would be very easy. Okay, now, when you talk about time, right, which is basically your year, right, month, days, wait, yeah. So first of all, you have to see the number of odd days. What is the meaning of odd days, right? Odd days are the days which do not come under whole week okay for example if i'm saying you 10 days in how many in this 10 days how many odd days you you can have tell me in how many sorry in this 10 day how, how many odd day will be there very easy three days right so if i'm saying 347 days how many odd days just divide by seven the remainder will be your odd days okay so that's the first definition of odd day okay so what's the odd day in odd day, number of days more than the complete week is your odd day. That's the first concept. Second concept, leap year. I hope everyone know what is a leap year, right? So if I say, right, you just have to remember, you just have to remember any one, any one year, which is a leap year, right? Any one year is a leap year. Okay, for your reference. Then after that, every fourth year is a leap year. Okay, right? Now, leap year have 366 days. So obviously it will have extra number of odd days. Now ordinary year, we know that what is the meaning of ordinary year, right? Now odd days, we know that just divided by number of weeks, as simple as that. So what can be asked, right? What can be asked? You are asked to find number of odd days in 100 years or 1000 years or 75 years. Can you do that? Tell me, can you do that? For example, see here, number of odd days in 100 years. So we know that in 100 years, we have 76 ordinary years and 24 leap years, right everyone? Now, 
in ordinary years in ordinary years how many odd days do we have in ordinary years we have only one odd day right but in leap year we have two odd day so total number of odd day will be what 75 into 1 plus 24 into 2 so 124 odd days now if we divide this by 7 you have to divide this again by 7 right so you will get five odd days okay so total number of odd days is five got it so in 100 years total number of odd day five in the same way you can just calculate right for 200 years thousand years ankit were you not listening right i said odd day is a day right which is extra of a week for example if you are taking eight days right so obviously seven days are the days of week one day will be extra right okay so odd days any extra day which is not your complete week okay got it so this is a type one problem i hope all of you can understood type one problem right calculating number of odd days yes now okay now next right so this is the type with which i was ask, asking what was the day see what was the day what was the day of the week of 15th august 1947 right this is what i was talking about right you are asked to find the day exact day which day it was Wow, Pragna, very nice answer. Independence Day. It is Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. It's like that. See, you have to remember these three informations. Okay, first, January, first January of, right, AD, right, means your year, zeroth year is Monday, was Monday. Okay, right, so, First day was Monday. So, odd day should be counted for Sunday, right? Sunday, zero odd day, Monday, one odd day, Tuesday, two odd day. Okay? Right, everyone? Now, the question is 15th August 1947. What we have to do? So, let's think. 15th August 1947. So, till 1947, you have to see how many odd days we will have. So 1947 is... 1946 years completely right 946 years plus 15 uh what month right completely seven months and 15 days right everyone tell me right everyone now we know that okay odd day in 1600 years is zero right how from this information that odd day in 400 years is zero yes or no Odd day every 400 years is zero, right? So multiple of 400 will be zero. So this information that you have to remember, okay? This information that you have to remember, okay? Now, we know that in 400 years, zero. So 1600 years, zero, right? Oh, sorry, this is a different question, yeah. 1600 years, zero. Next 300 years, right? We know that 100 years, five odd days. So 300 years, 15 or odd day, which is divided by 7, 1 odd day, 1 odd day. So, this is your 1 odd day. Okay, now remaining is 46 years. Now, in 46 years, we have 11 leap years and 35 ordinary years. Now, leap year, 1 odd day, sorry, 2 odd day, and ordinary, we have, tell me, 1 odd day. So, total number of odd days, tell me, 57 odd day. Okay. This is till 1946. How many odd days? 57 plus 1. Right? 58 odd days. Right? Divide, we will get. Okay? Now, 57 odd day means how many odd days? You can calculate. Now, next is 8 weeks. 8 weeks and 1 day. Right? Because total number of weeks. Okay? Till this point till 15th of August will be eight weeks and one day. So one odd day, right? So odd day 1950, 1956, 1946, odd day till 1946, till 1946, December 
plus 57 divided by 7, 56, 1, so 2 odd days. Got it? Tell me, got it? Yes or no? Yes or no? Okay, very good everyone. Now we are left with January till July or August. So calculate all the days. It was not a leap year, right? 1947 was not a leap year. So calculate. Total 227 days divided by 7. You will get 5. Now it is 5th day. So 1st is Monday, 2nd Tuesday, 3rd Wednesday, 4th Thursday, 5th Friday. So it was Friday. Got it? Tell me, got it? I hope all of you can remember this. Right? Okay. Now let's see one more problem. Right? Let's see one more problem. Last problem of today's class. So what day of the week was 20th June 1837? 20th June 1837. Everyone please try and let me know. Okay, Anya, let's see. Everyone, please try. This will be the last question. So what you have to do? First, calculate till 1800, right? Step by step. Okay, so it's easy. It will be fast. 1600 discard, then 200. 200, how many odd days? 10 odd days. Divide by two, three odd days. Divide by seven, three odd days. Then 37 years. In 37 years, how many leap year? Divide by four, right? So nine leap year. Okay. How many ordinary year? Tell me. 28 ordinary year. Okay. Right. Then calculate the number of odd day. I got three answers till now. I got Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. All three days I got it. So there must be something wrong, right? Step by step, step by step. See this. Six odd days, right? Till, so actual answer is what? See, actual answer is Tuesday. Okay, the actual answer is Tuesday. Got it, everyone? Got it? Tell me, yes or no? Yes or no, tell me, everyone. Okay? Now, this is about time. Okay? This is about time. Now, when talk about clock, right, you just have to remember these things. Okay? Just have to remember these things. In 60 minutes, the minute had gained 55 minutes on the hour hand. Right? Because in 60 minutes, Right, in 60 minute, minute hand rotates 360 degree, right? But our hand just rotates five degrees, sorry. Five minutes, right, which is 30 degree, okay? So remember like these concepts. The next concept, in one minute, right? These things which I've told you, right? What is the angle made by minute hand in one minute? our hand in one minute and our hand in one hour okay right so these are some information so you have to remember if you have already remembered these information then it will be easy okay got it everyone tell me so i'll just send this book okay i'll just send this book in the whatsapp group itself you can just check okay right Okay, everyone. Okay, thank you, everyone. Right, we will have a next class on uh, Friday. Okay. Okay, everyone. Bye, everyone. Bye, everyone. Thank you, everyone.